Got that Bible, got that precept, got that verse that you need. I'm your pusher. Your spiritual pusher. <laughs> yeah, man. That's we are, man. Pushers of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know? That's what we are, man. With that being said, like giving faith honors to my Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well the truth of sincerity. A special salutation to the shepherds of Berea camp. Salutations to the house of David, now up, thou died. Man, women, and children, under their word, truth, sincerity. And salutations to the whole four elect, men, and most I raise up in a speedy fashion. And yeah, man, you know, us brothers, we gotta have this addiction, man. This addiction for the word, you know? And that's exactly what this is, man. This word, you know, is supposed to be a, a spiritual high. You know, brothers should be yearning for, for to, to, to read every day, to be around the brotherhood every day, to be pushing this truth every day, man. You know, it should be like a spiritual drug, man. All right? So I'm going to get this definition on addiction. In the free dictionary.com, it says, and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go to uh, number two. Number two A, it says, the condition of being habitually occupied with or involved in something, you see? So 24-7, man, you know, you should be involved in this ministry. 24-7, you should be involved in righteousness and pushing your how about shim your shot, okay? Pushing this truth, doing these sit downs, you know, building with brothers. It should be a high, you know. When you go too long without it, man, you know you should start. You ever see those uh, fiends out on the street? They be scratching their arms, man. That's how you should feel, like yo, something, something missing. I need a taste of something. Hey, read the precept, read, get deeper, learn the meaning of these words. You know, go out there and uh, push, man. Be a pusher. That's what we doing. We pushing this word. Come, on, we got uh, let's get straight to the point. We got. 2 Timothy 3.16 says all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, mm, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. You see that, man? So this is the most powerful uh, 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 herbs uh, to sustain in this truth, man. Okay, that just, this right here has everything that you need within it. Okay, it nourishes every part of your being, man. Okay, when you when you need doctrine to know how to move, the Holy Scriptures will provide that for you. Okay, the reproof, the corrections, instructions in righteousness, man. Okay, so when you take a a, a hit of these Holy Scriptures, man, meaning you know what to to read it, to break it down through the Holy Spirit, hey, it should become a drug to you, man, because now your walks in life should be even easier. Because if you're moving in righteousness, man. You have nothing to worry about. This is when you try to mix uh, uh, the world into this truth. Is when you have a problem. You know? So it should make you more of an addict to this, to this truth. Like, wow. No, the scriptures is on point. I need more of that. Because it's like anything else. You know, it should be an a endorphin effect. You know, it makes you feel good to know you're pushing righteousness. You're pushing this truth. To know you're helping out in the ministry. To know that, you know, you're raising certain brothers up and, and they're pushing in righteousness and it keeps going, going on and going forth, man, through the Holy Spirit. You know, and again, hey, and again, man, big ups to the apostles and elders of GMS, man. Double honors to them for those for those uh, honorable uh, apostles going out there pushing his word for decades through the Holy Spirit. All right? Verse 17. It says... That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. You see? So this is something that you have to take a hit of, man. This is something that you have to be addicted to. Because all it's going to do is make you perfect. Okay? Unlike all these other different uh, philosophies, these wicked philosophies and wicked ways of living. You know, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you Israelites are scattered abroad, man. You know, you guys are... Addicted to uh, the uh, corruption and the drug of this world, and all it does is uh, it takes away from you. It doesn't add to you. That's why Ezekiel uh, was breaking down the valley of the, the uh, uh, um, uh, was it the uh, um, valley of the dry bones. Our people are dry bones, man. When you look at people over here really taking, you know, uh, uh, heroin, crack, K two heads, they look skinny. They look dilapidated. Okay. And taking on the philosophy of this world, what happened? They lose their sinews, meaning what? Their identity, who they are. They are dry bones, man. No. 
this drug of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, these holy scriptures, man, this this brings those sinews back. This brings you back to life. It makes you more fervent in this truth and pushing righteousness, man. You see that? So it gives you nothing but good works. It makes you perfect. Okay? Just like how every day you need water to sustain yourself. You need food to sustain yourself to keep on living. More, for, more and further, you need this word, man. Like Yahweh Shah said, you know, man doesn't live by bread alone. But paraphrasing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that's what we live off of, man. Every word of the Most High. We got Isaiah uh, 62 and. Hold on one second. Let me see some. Yes, brothers out here, we gotta be pushers, man. We gotta be pushers of this truth. Okay, I was correct. Just want to make sure I got the right preset. Let me go back real quick. Let's, let's get this going. Come, on, we got Isaiah 62 and 6. It says, I have set watchmen up upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Yea. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. You see that, man? So, you know, it's just like dealers, man. Just like those dealers that you see on the corners, day and night. That's what we're doing, man. Day and night. We wanted to give out this word. Out for free, man. Like our, like our uh, Lord and Savior uh, commanded us to do. To hook others in. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's the point. We're trying to get you hooked on this word, man. And we understand there's only a certain amount of people that's going to get it, but we still got to do our job. We got to go out there, and we ain't keeping silent, man. Yeah, we got one precept, one precept, two for four precepts, three to five precepts, precept upon precept. And we giving it out, man, freely. You see that? We not keeping our mouth shut. And guess what? We doing it via YouTube as well, through these videos, through TikToks, through Instagrams. Huh? Let's talk about it, man. All these different media platforms. The Lord has provided that for us to push this truth out, man. And sell his product. But it's for free. We give it away for free, man. Okay? Powerful, man. So the Lord set us up to be out here and be his uh his spiritual uh dealers of righteousness, man. On these highways and byways on these corners, man. Getting people addicted to this word. We got Jeremiah 20 and 9. It says. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. You see that? So Jeremiah was, uh, there was a time when Jeremiah was getting a little uh, frustrated, man. You know what I'm saying? He was getting a little weak. And he's like, you know what, man? I ain't going to do this no more. I ain't going to be a pusher no more. You know? And hey, brothers go through that sometimes. You have little demons on you. You know? Spirits of doubt. Right? But let's see. Let's see what the Lord did to him, man. It says, but his word was in mine heart as a burning fire, shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. You see that, man? So Jeremiah couldn't, he couldn't uh, deny his daily fix, man. That daily fix was too strong. You know what I'm saying? Once you were added to this word, there's no, there's no getting around it. Once you see the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, allowing you to wake up another day in this truth, pushing righteousness, seeing brothers come into this thing, man, from all different walks of life. You know, now this is the truth, man. This this word, this word has a, a addicting force to it, and that's what we are, man. We are addicted to the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Huh? We don't know no. We don't need no wicked substances. To sustain ourselves, man. We high off of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Not high off life, high off Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? That's what we high off of, man. And guess what? You see, he was burning in Jeremiah's bones, man. He couldn't, he couldn't stop. Like the uh, 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 beautiful attic in his truth, he couldn't stop, man. Once you get a taste of this word, it should be in your bones. You can't stop it, man. You should always be wanting to push righteousness. It should be an addiction to want to push righteousness, man, to the best of your ability. You should never get to the point where you want to uh, go to a go to the uh, rehab of Satan and go back to the world. No. I pray the Most High keeps us uh, addicts for this word, man. We got Isaiah twenty-six and nine. It says, 
With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee um, early. For when the judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. You see that, man? You see that? At night you should be desiring this word. The scripture should be on your mind before you go to sleep. You should be praying to the Lord before you go to sleep. Even in your mind. Brothers have certain spiritual dreams, man. You know, that's beautiful. You should be waking up early. Again, I'm not, when you see individuals out there in the world, they up early looking for that daily fix. You should be the same way in this truth. You should be up early with the spirit, with uh, scriptures on your mind. Even in your decision makers in life. You know, as you driving, as you driving and, uh, 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 and traveling from point A to point B, you should be constantly thinking, you know, how can I become better in this ministry? Or the situation that I'm about to uh, get into, or, or the, uh, uh, what should I say, the, um, basically brothers have to deal with day-to-day -day decisions constantly. And you should always be saying to yourself, you know, through the Holy Spirit, is this a righteous decision that I'm about to make? And pray for counsel, man. Okay? And what? It says, thy judgments are in the earth. The inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness, man. You see that? And right now, you know, the Lord has set brothers up to be judges upon this earth. And we're constantly trying to push out that righteousness through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shah. And we know the ultimate righteousness, man, right, is going to be when Yahweh Shah himself, Yahweh Shem Shah, visits this place, man, and destroys the wickedness of this world and sets up his righteous kingdom. That's when everybody's going to learn righteousness, man. Right now, we're looking for the hope for elect. And we pray that, you know, they get addicted to this word and come in in a speedy fashion. We got Matthews 10 and 8. It says, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. You see that, man? So these holy scriptures will heal you, heal you spiritually, physically. Bring us back to life. Because we were spiritually dead, like I elaborated on earlier, man. You know, cast out those demons that are on that are on people. Or when you battling your own demons, calling that name Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. And read and reading some precepts, man. So that the demons can come off off of you. And again, we what? We freely given. Like the Lord gave to us. The Lord gave it to us freely. The Lord's out there prophesying, man, constantly, bringing in fruitful repentance, man, dying for our sins. Okay, Yahweh Shai had to die for that, man. That was the price he had to pay, so we could have it now, and then us give it out freely. You know, so others could share in that Holy Spirit, in that Holy Spirit. You know, being that spiritual high, man. We got Proverbs. 23 and 23 it says buy the truth and sell it not that's another thing man once you get this truth man listen you should be doing the heisman man you should be pushing people away once you got it meaning what don't let nobody take your crown once you have this truth don't let nobody else come to you with no understand this truth is bringing you to life nobody should be coming to you with the book of the dead that's taken away from the holy scriptures man Nobody should be swaying you, getting you out of a uh, 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 of denying the name. It says also wisdom and instruction and understanding. You see that, man? So nobody else should be taking your crown, man. Okay? Don't let anyone uh, uh, uh take your spiritual high in this truth, man. Which is your crown. Okay? Because all because brothers have crowns on them. It's just gonna be manifested in that time through the spirit power y'all by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. So don't let nobody take your crown. Don't let nobody take your priesthood. Don't let nobody take your spiritual high, man. Okay? Because anything other than this is uncivilized. Anything other than this, outside of this realm, being a part of that world is nothing but death, man. Okay? Making it straight to the point. We got Baruch 4 and 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray. From the most high, you see. We went astray. We decided no, we want to deal with Esau's pharmaceutical drugs. No, we want to deal with 
Esau, the wicked of this world's philosophies. And what did it get us? Constantly dying every single day. Or for diseases, cancers, this pandemic that's going on. It got us bugged out. Like we on spiritual K2. Fighting once another, another killing one, killing one another. Not knowing who we are, bugged out. In the world, if you see these individuals that's uh, uh that's on uh all these uh, messed up substances, they bugged out. It says so. Being returned, seek him ten times more. You see that? You see that, man? So. As any addiction, you know, naturally, you're going to want more. You know what I'm saying? The only difference is with this book, you got a more potent high every time, man. Like we always say, why do you love the devil when the devil gives you nothing? You follow with all these other wicked philosophies, and what do you get out of it? You follow Allah, these different Muslims. What do they do? They're telling you to, to blow yourself up. When our people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you Israelites abroad, follow these wicked ways, you get nothing but death from it. They treat you like nothing. They treat you like spittle. They treat you like shit. You follow Esau way, he treats you like shit. When you follow the Lord's way, man, you flourish in all things. So you're supposed to be seeking him ten times more. You're supposed to be pleading with him. I made a mistake. Sorry. Please forgive me. You're supposed to be cleaving onto him, man. You should be constantly saying, you know what? I was, I didn't come into this truth until my 20s. So I had 20 years of just doing bullshit. I need to max, I'm, in that same amount of time that I had doing wickedness, I need to push 10 times harder now that I woke up. Because you done did everything already before you woke up. What did it get you? No, now? No, you need to cleave to that more. You need to be taking hits of these precepts more. In understanding. In understanding, okay? Through the spirit and power of y'all, Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Seek the Lord more, man. Push more. Push more. You know? We got Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth, for my mouth it hath commanded. And his spirit it have gathered them you see that man and you know that's why our people are smoked out on k2 you know constantly saying that they smoking kush it's funny that you know they call it kush going back to what these kushites okay these these so-called african these hamites man okay and what do they serve you know that, that that kush god kush these false gods man you know nah Oh, nah, man. Giving give reverence to false gods. Nah, man. Cause that's what's open. That's what uh, uh they open themselves up to. You know, they took a hit of that, and look what happened. It destroyed them. Like I said, our people killing one another because of these all the false, false doctrines, man. If we was to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and keep His commandments to the best of our ability, we wouldn't have this problem. But if you would read. Okay, the Holy Bible it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay, and open themselves up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, you would see the light at the end of the tunnel. You would know what this whole thing is about. You would know that we were set here to serve our slavery for not following the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. And guess what? We again, we have the light at the end of the tunnel, man, that our Lord and Savior is coming back and is about to visit this place. And we can see that. Why? All these different prophecies coming to pass. And that the Lord is about to visit this place. Euphrates River dried up. Come on, these different wars and rumors of wars. Huh? Let's talk about it, man. Constant different chariots popping up. What you think that's about? Showing you, I'm about to visit this place, man. Huh? All these different sanctions coming in. Them constantly pushing this MOTB. Neuralink, what do you think all this is about, man? All pursuing the Revelation 13, 16 on down. 
We in these times, man. Okay? We in these times, Akim. You know? Most I gonna visit this place and visit those that didn't want him to rule over them. The Lord's gonna destroy them. And redeem at the same time those that yearned for the Lord to come back and set up a righteous kingdom, man. Okay? That's what this whole thing is about. Reading out of the book of the Lord, man. Last one. We got Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. It says, When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Mm, what's that talking about? Talking about the day of the Lord, man. Okay? When the Lord comes back with his righteous angels and his chariots. Okay? To exact judgment on this place. For all the wickedness, man, that they've been pushing. For blaspheming his holy name. It says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they looked for. And what's that talking about, man? You see? That's going to be what? The ultimate high. When we meet our Lord and Savior in the air. <laughs> That's the ultimate high, I give we're going to literally be high, man, in the clouds, in the chariots, meeting our Lord in the air. That's the strangeness of their salvation. This whole time, all we've been doing is to get on a higher level in righteousness, man, to break up out of these bonds, man, these, these chains of darkness, meaning these bodies. And the Lord is going to allow that. And that's truly the righteous high, man, that the 144,000 is going to witness, the elect men, and the one-third. And in the kingdom of heaven, you know, we never going to get down from that high, man. Okay? Never. That kingdom is going to reign in righteousness for eternity. Okay? The kingdom of heaven, it says, is going to have a glow around it, man. Almost like the sun was constantly, I was going to have a righteous glow. All of Yasha Allah pushing the law, statutes, and commandments, man, perfectly. Hey, that's going to be a beautiful day, man. Okay? And we've been set up to be pushers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh on this earth, man. Okay? And compel them, okay, to come in, come into uh, the Lord's the Lord's ministry, man. Which we know that's only for the elect. But we still got to do our job and come out here and push, man. All right? So with that being said, I pray it's been edifying through the Holy Spirit. Let's give infinity honors to my Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kabbadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well in truth and sincerity. I'd like to give salutations to the shepherds of Berea camp, salutations to the house of David, thou of thou died. Man, women and children out there pushing his word truth and sincerity, and salutations to the whole four elect. May the most high raise y'all up, raise you up, man, in a speedy fashion. Till next time, Lord willing. Shalom.